So your top of hat, make sure that the railways on the island of Sodor are kept on a constant schedule. The big mainline engines bring in goods from far off places on the island. The engines sometimes have to shunt empty trucks to a siding where Percy collects them and takes them to the quarry. Mavis then shunts, fills, and arranges the trucks, and then either Toby or Mavis brings them down. The mainline engines notice that the trucks that were not shunted into Percy's special siding were usually used again on the mainline, so the bigger engines made plans and only put the naughtiest, troublesome trucks in Percy's special siding. One day, Percy the Little Green Engine came to Nashville. Thomas and Toby had been talking. Naughty trucks, grumbled Percy. What's wrong this time? Toby asked. Percy explained to them that today some naughty trucks at the quarry pushed him into some buffers. He wasn't hurt, but now he was very cross. Thomas hoped the best for Percy, but had his usual branch line train. With a whistle and a wave, he had to leave. Just then, James puffed in very cross as well. Where's my goods train, Percy? He huffed crossly. I ran into trouble with some trucks and I- I don't care about how you and Toby can't handle trucks from the quarry, interrupted James. Can't handle, objected Percy. Go fetch your own train if you want to be so rude, he huffed crossly. Soon James had shunted himself a train full of empty cars from the quarry that had been in Percy's special sighting. Bossy boiler, huffed Percy. Toby agreed and both of them went to go play games with the trucks in the yard. They always had fun biffing and bashing the trucks. They had a great time. Meanwhile, though, James was still unhappy. The trucks were naughty and causing much trouble. They sung mean songs and bumped James. James was cross and had to repeatedly stop to have his crew go and fix the trucks' brakes when they would slip on on purpose. Soon James came to Gordon's hill. He began to charge the hill furiously. As he was going up, the trucks jerked and the coupling snapped. The last two cars in the brake van rolled down the hill. The guard blew his whistle to alert the crew, but James couldn't hear him. The guard then telephoned for help. James continued puffing on and he went on his way. Luckily, Percy finished shunting and was on his way to Kirk Ronan to pick up some supplies. His driver heard the news, and they had to go find James' lost cars. Eventually they did, at the bottom of Gordon's Hill. He backed down and was coupled up to the remaining train, and then he puffed to the docks. He couldn't wait until he saw James next. James had been waiting at the docks, and the docks' manager was chewing him and his crew out for being so careless about losing their train. James was unhappy. Percy finally puffed into the docks with the missing cars. James, are you missing something? asked Percy. I don't see a brake van at the end of your train. We lost some trucks at Gordon's Hill, huffed James crossly. Percy laughed at him. Look who can't handle quarry trucks now, Percy snickered. Luckily for you, though, I haven't had the rest of your train left behind me. James looked back, and indeed Percy did. James felt ashamed. Control your temper next time, said Percy, and he huffed away. James huffed crossly and puffed to the sheds. 